on the Cold Podcast, Grizzly to God. Please like, subscribe, enjoy all of the engagement. You you all have been beautiful with the comments and the videos, and I appreciate it greatly. Now we have to talk about Buckshot Shorty. Buckshot Shorty was an MC out of Brooklyn, New York, in the nineties. He's responsible for things like um, Black Moon. You know, I got you open. Uh, Helter Skelter, he was uh, Smith & Wesson, so he definitely has a tree in the branch of hip-hop. I wouldn't call him a legend, per se, but I, I would call him a Brooklyn legend, but not a hip-hop legend. Now, he was recently involved in an assault. Uh, I was on Twitter a couple days ago, and I saw him being beaten to a no-count. He looked ridiculous he was on the ground uh you remember that episode of martin when he fought tommy hearns and his head was huge um his features were definitely transformed by the assault he looked crazy his head like a pumpkin but, um you can go on x and elon will have that for you we can't show it on youtube uh where i'll get flagged and everything else happen. you know what's going on so Recently, he released a statement. Let's go to a statement. After he was seen being beaten in the street, uh, savagely. Street. We can't show him being beaten, but this was a, a I looked. I'm not going to show everything, but he was being beaten in the street. Um, and this is what came out. Somebody filmed him after the fight. We, I, we didn't, we, I haven't seen footage of the actual fight, but we see. Get well, we're we praying, praying for you. you. And, and I, I really, really want to say one last thing, thing Rock, that's, that's I disagree with, with striking, striking down, down the video, video because, because we, we need, need to see, see the video. video. I don't, I don't agree, agree with trying to get the video taken. Take, get the video down, 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 down. No, no, leave, leave that, that up because, because we, we need, need to see what, what these kids, kids doing to these elders. elders. I, I never, never agree with the people that say, why are you recording? Why are you helping? We need these videos. A lot of these cops are in jail because of the video. So, no, I'm never going to say take the video down. No, we need the video up. Because, because me and these young men that don't, don't agree with to, to understand, this, this is awful. awful. You, don't you don't do this, do this to an elder statesman. statesman. If the, the video is taken down, from memory, how are we going to learn anything? anything? We, need we need the video up. up. And we and need whatever happened happen to these guys to be, be up, up as well. well. And I'm going to leave it at that. CLB, MG, I'm going to catch up on the flip side. Let me know what you think in the comments. Okay. Now, he was speaking on Rockness, which is an MC that Buckshot used to rap with. Back in the 90s, in the early 2000s, and so on and so forth. Um, he put out a statement that he wants the video being taken down. He doesn't like to see Buckshot in that light. And who would? You know what I'm saying? It's understandable. But um, this gentleman says he wants the video up. And I believe it should be up. I believe all of the evidence should be presented in all cases. I think it's something to learn from each and every one that was involved with this situation. Um, this is now the statement that was released by Buckshot Shorty. Let's see what he says. To all my friends and fans and supporters, thank you for reaching out during this difficult time. Recently, I was a victim of a violent assault involving multiple individuals armed with weapons, including handguns. Uh, this at attack stems from ongoing disputes over my property where I am the rightful owner but have faced issues with unauthorized occupants who escalated the situation of violence. Now, in this first statement, he is telling. Let's call it like we see it. This, this is telling. He said, individuals armed with weapons, including handguns. Right? So, what is that? And he also goes on to say this attack stems from an ongoing dispute over my property. Well, Buckshot needs to learn to handle things properly and go through the proper channels. We don't confront people on the street about real estate. Do you understand? So Buckshot could be at fault as well. To me, and we're going to go through the footage later, to me, it seems like Buckshot Shorty walked down an ass whooping. He did not have to have this happen to him. He could have walked away. And there is our lesson. But we'll, we'll get into it. 
And it says, as someone who's been an entertainer and a part of this community for over 30 years, I am deeply disturbed that such an incident could happen in New York, a city I love and call home. Violence like this has no place here, and I'm calling on everyone to come together and to make New York safer and better for all of us. Now, Buckshot Shorty has gotten peace whipped into him. He has gotten beaten so bad that he wants everyone to never beat anyone again. You see what happens? You can learn from life. Pain is a good teacher. Excellent teacher. Buckshot Shorty has turned over a new leaf. He says, I am currently recovering from my injuries and I'm working closely with a legal team and law enforcement to ensure this matter is handled properly. We are committed to seeing justice served and I ask for your patience and support as the legal process unfolds. Again, thank you for all your well wishes. Let's put it in to violence. And help rebuild a stronger, safer New York City. Ooh, he sounds like a peaceful man. Peaceful man, right? Uh, Cecily Kenyatta Blake, a.k.a. Buckshot Shorty. Now, this is what happened before Buckshot Shorty had got his ass thrashed to a no count. Um, no disrespect. But this was the incident and the altercation leading up to the violence that he wants to solve in New York. Hold on, people. Don't even try, try, try it. Don't even try, try it. it. Now, we see Buckshot Shorty, like, intercepting this. Now, this has nothing to do with uh, getting the proper authorities and people out of your residence. You have no business on this New York street attempting to intercept this this person. And I assume this is one of the people in the building or one of the people that's squatting in his property, right? So he's taking business. He's taking the law into his own hands here. He's intercepting this dude, which is going to cause a confrontation. Snitch. You a snitch. Yo, bro, this is Bro, don't play with me, bro. 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 See, now he says not, the mask's calling him a snitch. Probably because he called the police to get him out of his own house. Out, out of Buckshot's house. Which is which is understandable. What else you gonna do? Or call the proper authorities, the county, or whatever, who you gotta call. Now, if he's calling Buckshot a snitch based on that, I take no offense. And Buckshot shouldn't take any offense either. Now, Buckshot, to me, is out of bounds here. He is over 50 years old. This man is walking with his daughter and his grandmother. You hear the, the child in the background. Now, Buckshot, he doesn't start this altercation, but... In some ways, he is starting it because he's out in the middle of his street. And I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that he knows this person has to come back and forth this way to the residence. So he is, in a sense, starting it because he didn't have to be there at all. But now he is walking down this guy. He's walking him down physically, following him, which he should not do. So that's what I mean by he walked down an ass whipping. And some people walk down ass whippings. If you go on the internet, it's hundreds and hundreds of people that walk down ass whippings, that talk shit, talk shit, talk shit, and then get crushed in public. We, we see it all the time. And Buckshot it was a victim of that, obviously. I, I, I don't need nothing. Right. Tough guy, where you going? With snitch. 